please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Uh, our Vanessa, please call the roll. <laughs> Commissioner Steele Here. Commissioner Boyd. Here. Um, row officer comments and reports. Looking out of the audience today, I see one row officer with us today, our, our, our controller, press to find. Dave, do you have anything for us above and beyond what's already on the agenda? I do not. Beautiful. Uh, public comments. Uh, is there any member of the public here wishing to make comment before the board? Seeing none. Fiscal and contractual. We've got a, uh, a couple of repository properties up on the slate. Um, first one is uh, approved, or at least has been approved by prior uh, governing boards. That is the school district uh, of the city of Newcastle and the city council of Newcastle. Uh, and it is a resolution for discussion of possible approval for repository property 25 900752, located at 157 Cathcart. Or I guess the Shannon Township. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Shannon Township. Uh, I, mean, I usually see uh, Thomas Casey on the west side, which is why I jumped to uh, jump to uh, Newcastle. Um, but this has been approved by the uh, Board of Supervisors. Um, Vanessa, is it? I, I assume it either has been approved or not acted on by the school district. Um, it was. Yeah, it was approved. It must not have been acted on. on. Yeah. Well, in fairness to Shannon, I think that's all four repository properties, so they're probably not used to not used to getting the school districts probably not used to getting these requests. Um, but we'll make that resolution 2023-38. 38. Questions, comments on the resolution? No. I will take a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Motion to second. for discussion here and none. Question on the motion. Vanessa, please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Up next, we have three. Uh, repository bids which have been rejected. Um, they're all in the city of Newcastle. I'll note that even if this board takes action to approve them today, um, because one taxing body uh, denied them, they will be denied. That being said, this board, unless there are extenuating circumstances, um, this board generally uh, rules if it's denied, we generally deny as well. Right? Um, and again, that being said, you know, we don't, we don't have to, you know, it wouldn't matter. Um, so we'll make these 39. We'll take them together unless there's any objections to doing so. 40 and 41. And these um, are rejected by the city of Newcastle. All made by, we got one from Thomas Casey, two from Thomas Casey, and one from Tony Argero. Um, Tori. Tori Argero. Uh, one property is located on Samson Street. One property is located on Moravia Street. And one property is the... Um, uh, first mayor of building. Um, again, all of these are denied by the city. Um, Thomas Casey owes back taxes. And in the case of the Liberty, uh, the first mayor of building, uh, it is the last day. So those are the reasons. Um, I'll take a motion to approve 39 through 41, unless there are any questions or comments. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Uh, hearing none, Vanessa, please call the roll. Commissioner Stillwell? No. Commissioner Gogler? No. Commissioner Boyd? No. Motion fails. Thank you. Uh, we have no advertising for bids and proposals, although I do believe we'll have a couple of things coming up for maintenance um, pretty fast, specifically relating to roof repairs. Um, we do have the opening of uh, bids and proposals. That's why our controllers are uh, with us today for the Stavage Bike Trail. I'm hopeful this is the last time we'll have to open bids um, as it relates to park maintenance again, because we'll be onboarding a, a parks manager position um, in a quick order. That being said, Dave. Welcome to the circus, as always. Happy to have you with us. If you'd be able to do the honors of, uh, of ripping those, those uh, folders open. Sure thing. I have three bids. The first one I have here is from C. Crump Incorporated in Hubbard, Ohio. Thank you. Total amount of bid, $41,020. Next one is GP Construction Incorporated in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. Total amount of bid $46,323.
And the final one is from North Beaver Contracting in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Total amount of bid, $42,712. Okay, questions or comments on any of those bids? Uh, as is customary, what we'll do next is we'll take a motion to table the bids and refer them to the appropriate administrative officials, in this case the controller, the solicitor, and the Department of Planning um, for further review, and we'll take action on those bids at a later meeting. So I'll take a motion to table and refer to the appropriate administrative officials. Second. Second. The motion is second. Is there any further discussion here? None. Question the motion. All in favor, please say it by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Dave, thank you very much. Thank you. No we have... Three warrant registers today from January 27, 26, and 24. Um, on the warrant register is just simply a list of checks or, or bills paid out by the uh, by the controller and the treasurer um, that we have authorized um, over the last few weeks. And I'll give my colleagues a minute to check those over to make sure um, that all are accurate, that all of our, our monies are accounted for, the public monies are accounted for. And I'll take a motion to approve or to accept and file three warrant registers um, whenever. Right. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion? Any question? Motion. All in favor, please simply saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. The minutes from Tuesday, January 24, 2023. Um, I'll give my colleagues a minute to check those over. Um, and take a motion to approve or make any changes as necessary and expedient. Um, this was a big money meeting. Um, we spent a, a significant amount of ARPA dollars, a significant amount of American Rescue Plan Act dollars, a significant amount of uh, paving dollars. Um, it was a, uh, it was, and today's the day we actually do the contracting that is associated with the authorization of those appropriations. Um, but, yeah. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion here? Any question on the motion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. We have one written communication today from uh, North Memorial Animal Hospital in Lincoln Township. Um, they are applying for a National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System NPDES permit for uh, their sewage. Uh, any questions or comments on that? No. Here we go. I'll take a motion to accept and file correspondence. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion here? None. Question of motion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Staff reports. Do we have any member of staff here that has anything to report above and beyond what's already on the agenda? JR, approach the bench. Good morning. Good morning. Here's a very copy of the report for Thank the you. Reference. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> the report has to do with uh, the data update project that we, the previous board of commissioners signed in 2019. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that it has finally been completed in conjunction with Evaluated Services Technology and Vision Government Solutions. The project was signed in 2019, like I said, from the previous Board of Commissioners, in order to update all property characteristics throughout the county by the use of aerial imagery and oblique imagery. I want to stress this was not a reassessment but an update of just property data. We used the current valuation tables that were effective on the last county wide reassessment in 2003. I uh, wanted to just give the update. There were 26,035 parcels that were reviewed by not only uh, Vision and EST personnel, but also the county personnel. And out of that, 729 of them still need to be site visited because the uh, there was obstruction from aerial imagery and from other objects with some tree cover. So where, when my staff is out in that district doing its normal routine building permits, they will visit these properties to pick up what is noted based off this project. Uh, just to recap, the cost of the cost of this project was one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and I'm happy to announce the total assessment increase from this project was sixty one million four hundred seventy one thousand five hundred forty nine dollars. That gives the county tax, unbudgeted county tax revenue of $510,767,000. Uh, so as you can see, it was a uh, good return on the investment from county tax dollars. I don't know if that is budgeted now. It is budgeted It is budgeted now. now. <laughs> well, don't get any ideas. <laughs> the last group is wrong. We sent out uh, 1,300 change assessment notices at the beginning of this month. 
to the last group of, of changes that occurred during the year. So that has not been much yet. Okay. Um, Did you have to tell them that? <laughs> I'll have those numbers to you at a future meeting. Uh, but I also want to stress one other thing. I want to be clear that not every person in the county received an increase in their assessment. There were over 3,000 property owners that also received a decrease. So the assessment office's job is to uh, make sure everyone's paying their fair share of taxes and that can be increased, decrease, or a status quo, status quo stay the same. So just wanted to give that report. I am working on a district breakdown by municipality and school district that I will then forward on to each of the respective districts. So they are aware of how the project turned out for them. Yeah, I would, just a couple comments, we'll turn it over to my colleagues. Number one, the, the $510,000 um, figure that's only county tax revenue. Is that accurate? That is correct. Which means um, all of our school districts right. and all but one of our municipalities, um, New Orleans and Burroughs, which doesn't have a property tax, is receiving um, additional impact beyond just the county impact in terms of their, in terms of their bottom line. Um, number two, I was I happen to be with the township supervisor. I met one of the supervisors for breakfast this morning uh, up at Mama Jane's in Mechanic, and uh, he actually commented that that because of this, along with a couple of other um, an issue that they've, that they've put into place in, uh, in his township. Um, their revenue projections, even beyond what they budgeted for in the most in their most recent budget, are already exceeding expectations um, for uh, fiscal year 2023. And so that specific township, and along with many others, um, are in are in better fiscal health um, because of this initiative. And lastly, I'll say, and just to tap on tap on what you said um, last. This is not about increasing or decreasing uh, taxes. This isn't about us trying to go grab more revenue or lose more revenue or any of that. This is about making sure that everybody in Lawrence County is paying their fair share based on the taxing mechanisms that we have available towards the provision of government services. Um, that's, the, that's the goal of your office. That's the goal of the three of us sitting up here. That's the goal of the Board of Assessment Appeals. Is that every, is, is not that people pay more or less in taxes, but that everybody pays their fair share, and that's what this project uh, helped to accomplish. My colleagues? Yeah, I agree that it, it clarifying that it wasn't a reassessment, that it was just um, updating. The only other comment that I would like to make is I do want to uh, really put a shout out to the assessment office staff. They really went above and beyond the last two years with this project. We've got some phone calls from very angry property owners, but they have to kind of explain that most of them seem to settle down, but every property owner did have their right to appeal the increase, decrease, or whatever happened. But I do believe the office did go above and beyond, so I do want to give them a shout out. Absolutely. And, and you made a good point. Some properties actually decreased. Their taxes did decrease when, when they come in if they did file that appeal. I know I've, I got different phone calls, and again, once it's explained to them, that they they do uh, calm down. I haven't gotten I haven't gotten anything recent. So whatever um, the word is, is getting out or has gotten out, that it's it's just not it's not a reassessment. You do have that opportunity to to appeal. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Any other member of staff have anything to report about the author on the agenda? Seeing none. Uh, commissioner reports and comments. Loretta, you're on deck. Floor is yours. I, I have nothing today. Thank you. Dan. Likewise. Uh, only thing I'll note is uh, congratulations to you both for not having any responsibility over the elections <laughs> for, the next, <laughs> for the next year. I am envious right now, <laughs> although I will have an announcement. Uh, I'll, I'll be releasing uh, what my intentions are on uh, on Thursday. But but for at least the next couple of days and, and potentially for the next at least couple of months, uh, congratulations <laughs> on absolving yourselves of that headache. <laughs> And best of luck to you both. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, all right, moving on to the uh, resolution portion. We have do, we need, do we maybe need to clarify that? I mean, I don't know how many people are viewing, but the fact that Dan and I, we've both uh, indicated that we are running for re-election, since we are members of the um, the election board, were. were, we can no longer participate in that, and we are no longer members of the election board. So what happens in that instance then is the judge appoints two additional members, two members to replace us um, of like party. Um, and so those replacements has been made, the order has been put out. So Dan and I no longer sit or can sit on the election boards. Right now Morgan is still still sitting and uh, 
like you said, for however long amount of time he will be there. Um, do it right. We'll be watching. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> joking with, with Kim Germany that you know, I'm not even allowed to speak to him anymore. I walk right past him in the hallway. <laughs> say hello. No, we do. We do have. That's a joke, but we do have to keep yes. our relationship with that office now at arm's length. Yes. And, uh, that's that's a good law. It's a very good law. So enjoy your service with Mr. Picari and Attorney Seltzer. Yes, I have a few meetings are going to be live with. Right. <laughs> Um, but on that, I will move into the new, uh, the new resolution portion of the circus. Uh, first up, we have our, our tax pay director, Tish Foster, for a resolution discussion. I uh, entered into an agreement with uh, Info Clon Tish. Approach the bench. How are you doing today? Good. What do we have before us? Well, basically, we just want to be able to have the authoritarian's information that's got the Infocon um, on our computer so that we can access that data for our tax sales. Um, we've been, you know, we have some areas where you know, maybe someone didn't get noticed it should or the address didn't get updated. If you don't have access to all that information, so that will make it easier for us um, to do that if we're able to do that. So that's our goal. Is the Pathonitary aware that you're bringing this to our attention? Yes. Okay. Our solicitor contacted the Pathonitary to get our approval first. Great. And then the next step was to bring it to the meeting. Thank you. Okay. Very good. I know this is a, a cost of about 500, it is 576 bucks total for $48 a month. Um, and the, the, again, the hope is that this increases the efficiency of tax, uh, the tax claim yes. office mm -hmm. and uh, allows for more efficient administration of our, uh, our tax sales and our cost per sales. Okay. Uh, thank you. I'll take a motion on 42. So moved. Second. A motion second. Any further discussion here? Another question of the motion? I'll, I'll ask. Please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. All right. LCAPS, Vanessa. Um, <laughs> We've got a, a, a resolution uh, for our contribution to the Senior Citizen Nutritional Shopping Program, we've about $5,160. We've done this every year, uh, but it's certainly always good to see it. You'd be able to give us a refresher on what the taxpayers are paying for. Absolutely. Um, so we're here today to ask for $5,160 to supplement the Senior Nutritional Shopping Program. Um, these are trips provided on the AXE bus service to Lawrence County, um, Residents who are 65 or older, uh, they can travel for just $1 to go to the grocery store, farmer's market, or food pantry. That was something that came up through COVID, oh, right. and we, yes. we added that knowing that you all would be, I probably should have asked now that I'm saying that out loud, but I know you would have been supportive of that. Um, of that. But anyway, um, roughly uh, the average uh, amount per trip that the county would pay is less than $2 per trip. That allows our seniors to go for just $1 with the PennDOT lottery program paying 85% of that fare. Um, it enables people to have access to groceries more frequently. It's not cost prohibitive, um, especially things like fresh fruit, bread, and things like that. You can't just buy once per month and, and have all month. So um, also with our same day trip program, we're finding that um, our seniors are really um, using the same day trip program in addition with the senior nutritional program in order to go out and get you know groceries as they're getting low and, and just having more flexibility and access to our community. So it's been great. No, it's a good program. Um, as you uh, you mentioned, you're projecting 2,775 trips to be provided to senior citizens, um, which is excellent. And uh, you know, I, I'm certainly in favor of it. I'm, I'm sure that the vote will reflect the board's yes. um, uh, positive opinion towards the program. Um, any questions or comments for uh, for El Capitano? Just thank you for for doing the job that you do. I know sometimes it's difficult to keep the, the monies and the numbers and it, the seniors, you know, where they need to go and, and what they need to do. So thank you guys so much for for keeping such good track of our seniors. Thank you very much. I, I probably ask you this every year, but the folks sixty five and over, 
Are there any income limitations? This could be any anybody 65 or over who resides in Lawrence County. Absolutely. We jokingly say you can have a dollar or a million dollars. If you need us, we're here for you. Yeah. Now, obviously, we don't have a whole lot of millionaires, but um, but it's just the joke that we say. Sure. No income tied to it. Thank you. I'll take a motion on free, uh, a free frame. Second. The motion is second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, question on the motion. Warren County Vest, please call the roll. Commissioner Silver Hogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Ferris? Thank you. Thanks for asking. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Yes. Uh, up next, we have our planning department, 44. Um, this is a project that, that we're looking to do uh, with Elport Borough for the completion of your zoning ordinance. Alan, Becky, which one of you guys is to take that? Alan? So what do we have? I'm glad that we're, 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 uh, we're uh, we got a smaller municipality here a little bit. There's right. a, and I want to emphasize that these types of programs are available to every municipality um, in, in the county of Lawrence for anyone that wants to partner um, with our, our planning department to uh, to take them. So if you'd be able to give us an overview of what's going on. Yeah, uh, Elport Borough is in the process of updating their zoning ordinance. Their council has actually written most of the ordinance. Uh, they just uh, need assistance in completing it and making sure that it's compliant with the Pennsylvania municipality plan. What are the terms of the agreement? Are we charging them? Yes. How much? It's $500. <laughs> So in other words, for five hundred dollars, they're getting they're yeah, getting yeah. assurance you have free full compliance with the uh, Pennsylvania municipalities planning code. Um, certainly a worthwhile expenditure there, and and certainly need to be discounted from what you pay an attorney yes. or um, <laughs> or a uh, third party consulting firm. Um, so for the low low price of five hundred dollars, we will provide your very own Alan Miller to you. Yeah. Um, and any, any questions from colleagues here? Thank you for your work on this, and I'm sure uh, we appreciate it, and I'm sure the Alport board appreciates it as well. I'll take a motion on 44. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. Uh, please call the roll. Commissioner Spielberg? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, Becky, are you here for these ones? No. Okay. I'll, no, I'll I'm just, take them. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yeah. here just to provide support here for Alan. <laughs> So yeah, no, I was like, no. Um, We're these good. all, and unless there's any objection, we'll take them all together. Sure. Um, just because that's probably the easiest way to do it. Last week, we approved a number of American Rescue Plan Act allocations for various projects. Um, what we approved last week was the appropriation. It was not a, uh, a fiscal, an actual con contractual agreement with the entities to whom we're awarding funding. Um, this week, we're officially awarding funding to um, Westminster College, 250,000, Mahoney Township, 250,000, New Orleans New Borough, 60,000, and uh, LCSS, LCAP, $276,105. All note for the other projects, the broadband contracts already been entered into, and um, the Elwood City Borough project is actually technically running through Lawrence County. Um, and so while we approve the money for Elwood City, the project itself is being administered by Lawrence County. So for that reason, we don't need to contract with ourselves to, to execute that plan of work. Um, and then our, our internal IT upgrades, um, we'll, we'll, they were internal IT upgrades. So questions or comments? All these have been reviewed by the auditors. Uh, in fact, I think the auditors pulled the, the actual contracts together. All of them were reviewed by the solicitors. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just on us now to approve many questions or comments before. I'll take a motion on resolutions 45 through 48. Second. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. Vanessa, please call the roll. Commissioner Spielberg? Yes. Commissioner Belvoir? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, up next, we have a resolution for discussion of public credit executive letter of authorization, all related documents for mission critical partners or contact to facilitate the NG911 uh, service. Um, this is an initiative that's been in place actually now for a couple of years, um, transitioning to NG911 service from our, uh, our current systems. Um, and uh, this contract will take place through, uh, it starts yesterday, and uh, will take place through uh, 2025. Um, this is through a 911 center, 
And I believe funds here are being paid for out of our 15% grant allowance from Pima. So this is not coming, I don't believe this is coming out of the general fund. Um, but it modernizes our 911 systems um, and allows for more efficient um, 911 service. And as we all know, how uh, that, that service is critical um, to provide uh, to, to our, our residents. Questions or comments on this? I'll take a motion to approve 49. Send it. Second with it, I do have a comment. Uh, I believe you both know this, but Mr. Strobel did plan to be here today. And last night, uh, we had a couple of unfortunate situations in the county yes. that really uh, required his attention. We obviously, you may know, we had a shooting in uh, the borough of Elwood City and a fire in Scott Township. Uh, and it, it did require Mr. Strobel's attention. Um, and I think it probably took his time a good part of the evening. So he, his office called asked, and again, maybe you know already, but normally he would have been right. here, but I, and he hopes that we understand why he can't, so. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. You have a motion to second, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, question of the motion, Vest, please call the roll. Commissioner Silva. Yes. yes. Commissioner Vogler. Yes. Commissioner Boyd. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, up next, we just have a transfer, and it's a large transfer, but there's a reason for $82,819. As many of you know, the 911 budget, from a budgetary perspective, is the bane of my existence. Um, I, I, we get the actual amounts right. For the life of me, I can't get the accounts right. Um, and so this is transferring. Um, I put all of our 15% funding into a shared CPE account for the 2023 fiscal year. Chad is separating the funds out from that shared CPE account into project specific accounts as required by Pima. Um, again, I, the, the budget's so <laughs> done on every other area, I cannot get 511 100% right. I, it's, it's impossible for me to wrap my head around, but we're moving that money out of that shared CPE account into the, uh, the project specific accounts. And this is all 15% funding, it's not general tax levy. Um, so I'll take a motion to approve that transfer. Uh, before, if I could just oh, comment, no, it, because it, a, a light bulb went off in the fog here. Uh, you know, through CCAP, uh, we actually vote on priorities that we want to speak to our legislators about in, at the Capitol in uh, Harrisburg. And the 911 system, the, the appropriations, uh, it sunsets January 31st of 2024. So that is one of the top priorities for CCAP is to um, to be involved through our, our different counties, through the different systems that we have, to be involved with the legislators to try to come up with the systems, whether it, it continue the way that it is with increases in, in different areas or not. Maybe putting everything under one umbrella that, you know, it can be disseminated a bit better for budgeting purposes. I'm sure other counties go through the same thing. But that is uh, one of the, the top priorities because it, it does sunset next uh, next January. And, you know, can't delay on that because you can't stop the 911 system. And that formula is so flawed that they're using yeah. right now. They used in order to compile. So for, for, for context, whatever you get your cell phone bill, I'm sure you guys see yeah. a tax on it. Um, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania specific tax that goes to, to Pima, which then flows to the counties to provide 911 services. Um, and it's based on a formula that was kind of, I think they came up with it in 2015. Um, I want to say it's 14 or 15. The, the problem with the formula is that it was based on actual expenses incurred by counties in prior years. And so the problem with that is you have some counties that constructed a 911 center. Yes. In prior years, that cost, you know, potentially, I think ours cost, and you'd be able to give a better figure on this, maybe six, seven million dollars. Yeah, at least. Um, and there were some overages on that, that that I'm aware of. Um, but so, so we constructed our 911 center after the formula was yes. written. And so, while Indiana County is the county I'll use as the example, um, they're receiving millions of dollars more than we are to fund their 911 system. We're exactly the same size county. Yes. Um, but because the formula is based on prior year expenses. And they put their 911 center in as they were crafting the formula. They're getting a significant more dollars than us, who have the same population, but put our 911 center in afterwards. And so that formula needs fixed. Uh, it would save uh, our taxpayers' dollars. Yes. It would probably cost the Indiana County taxpayers' dollars, but then again, we don't well, represent them. Well, hence the, the, not the argument, but the fact that it, it needs to be worked on because it's, it's, not fair. It's, it's not fair and it's not going to be an easy thing 
as a representative to say, well, I'll go ahead and pull those millions from Indiana yep. or another county and share a little wee bit more with uh, with Lawrence. Yeah, it, it's it's um, going to be very interesting to see how things uh, move forward. I think, so, I think they were one vote away from it, the last vote to change the formula, and some guy switched at the last minute. I remember Jeff when he was still oh, he was uh, okay. telling me about it. Okay, uh, but it's it's yes. a uh, it's a big it's a big issue. And I'm glad that the CCAP's making it a priority. Yes, definitely. Guys, we do the motion? I don't think, I think I spoke on the motion before. I will motion. Second. Motion okay. second. Any further discussion on the transfer? Hearing none, question motion. All in favor, please say by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign motion carries. No warrants is on the table for introduction for the final action. Next commissioner's meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 7th at 10 a.m. in the commissioner's meeting room. There will be a Lawrence County Opioid Advisory Board meeting uh, following that meeting on the 7th at 12 o'clock noon in this room and there will be a planning commission meeting on wednesday february 8th at 12 o'clock noon with the uh, bessemer borough building um, any public comments uh, if i may i'm oh, sorry okay. <clears throat> you had um asked um sherry knight her name um that this is sherry knight she is going to be our l street liaison so we're just trying to pay a little bit more attention on what's going on in our government see how we can help you guys and, and how we can work together to better our community Absolutely. I'll note that, that um, the Elm Street project on the Lower East Side, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, is one of two Elm Street designations in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, they just added uh, a third one that I'm aware of and maybe a fourth, but that's still a great uh, saying that uh, little Newcastle PA Absolutely. has um, been respected enough to, for them to give us that designation. Absolutely. And we know that it's because of the hard work of the individuals like you both. Um, okay. that we received that designation. So appreciate yes. your efforts on Lower East Side. Appreciate everything you guys do for the community. Um, I'm certainly happy to have you here. You're always, yeah. always welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Good. Any additional comments by the uh, board? No. All right. I will uh, adjourn the Lawrence County Board of Thanks, Thanks for uh, Oh, Ken, don't forget your Steeler jacket. Yeah, better take that out, uh, even though the season's over. Give you <laughs> if you do ever need anything, Ken, good to see you. We're all good. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I'm already standing up. <laughs> I wonder what the hell you're doing. We do want to go on the road. Don't we? <laughs> She's headed for the door. That's okay. He's <laughs> going to walk here. He said, let's go. I'm up. <laughs> All, all, rise. Rise. Board of Christmas <laughs> all rise with the Pledge of Allegiance. Loretta, you'd see me to lead us in the Pledge. <laughs> oh, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll oh, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Vanessa, please call the roll. Commissioner Steele, roll here. Commissioner here. Commissioner Boyd. Here. Real officer reports and comments. We have no rows with us today. Public comments. Do we have any member of the public wishing to make comment? Okay. Fiscal and contractual. We have no repository properties, no advertising bids or proposals, no receipt of bids or proposals. We do have one warrant registered dated January 23rd, 2023. I'll give my colleagues a minute to check that over, and then I'll take a motion to accept and file the warrant register. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, minutes from Tuesday, January 17th, 2022. I'll give my colleagues a minute to check those over and take a motion to approve the minutes. I'm going to vote on them because I'm just going to vote on them, but I will note that I wasn't uh, here last week. I was attending the inauguration. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We have two presentations of written communications, both in Union Township. One relates to AMG Titanium Alloys and Coatings LLC estate only operating renewal permit. And one is a pen power notification of plane transmission line work on Old Youngstown Road. Um, unless anyone has any questions or comments on those, I'll take a motion to accept and file. So moved. 
the reason I, I apologize. The only okay. reason I'm hesitating, I don't recall seeing the second one, but my name's on there. So obviously it was uh, forwarded to me. So, so just bear with me one second. No, you're fine. Good to go. I'll second. Thank you. A motion and second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. Um, sorry, it's got an interesting one. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, staff reports. We you remember a staff with us today that has anything to report about me on what's already on the agenda. Seeing none, Commissioner reports and comments. I'm on deck first today. Uh, I do have some comments relating to broadband.